Hello everyone! So in this video, we will be talking about the Radio Master Zorro and this is actually an ELRS device. The antenna that is used and the protocol inside is ELRS. <laughs> okay, she wants to be in the video. I'll show her to you. <laughs> yeah, oh, sama ka sa video. I don't know. Okay. Mm, uh, when, when I'm starting my video, she usually talks. Okay, so let's continue. This is the ELRS Zorro, and this is a gamepad style controller. And why is it called a gamepad style controller? It's actually similar to a gamepad. It's very small, compact, and the gimbals are not... Okay, I'll get into the gimbals later on. But it has a small gimbal, and it's... Somewhat similar to a controller. I'll show you. So, so this is a gamepad. This is a gamepad for my Nintendo Switch. And as you can see here, it's really, really similar in size and dimension. But this is actually a good controller that you could use to fly your quad. Since this is ELRS, it's compatible with most of modern a DIY quad and what Radio Master did is to make it as compact as it as they can. Although it's not as small as the uh, Radio Master Pocket, which is quite smaller because they they remove this lower part of the Zorro, and that is how uh, how big the Radio Master Pocket is. The gimbals were also minimized. So you got your gamepad. Uh, style here. So the uh, Radio Master uh, Zorro is has this configuration in the in the front. You got your MDL button and uh, model button roller pad here. Is this a pad? I mean roller button. Uh, you got your tele telemetry button here. You got your trim switches for for FPV drones. This is not that, uh, in, it is not used very much. Okay, you got your um, system button here. <laughs> it's really small, I cannot see it. Okay, a return button for the menu if you want to return back to a previous menu. And of course, page up and page down. Okay, so these are the buttons of the Radio Master Zorro. Of course, at the top, you got your screen. This is just a grayscale screen uh, for quads for FPV drone this is not that uh, important so as long as you could read the text or you could adjust your settings on the fly uh, the, the color ah, monochrome so the color is not that important so if it's in the grayscale it's okay <coughs> you got your power button at the at the middle part uh, you can adjust this uh, you can adjust the the way it opens up on the menu uh, but probably I'll, I'll i'll make a tutorial about it on a separate video but all of the radio master controllers can be customized for example this one uh, since this is low battery you cannot see it but you have to press this a couple of seconds before it actually turns on at the at the back part, you got your antenna. At the top, Kaylee, don't, don't. Okay, you just, you just try to play with it. Okay, don't. Okay, take care of the controller of <laughs> Tito. <laughs> okay, so you got your antenna for the ELRS system here. This is actually, I believe, two hundred milliwatt of ELRS. Uh, unlike with. Yes, with the Radio Master Boxer, you got a 1 watt. This one, I, if I'm not mistaken, around 200 to 250. I'll just try to put some somewhere here. I'll just try to show it to you. I just forgot it. At the left part, so you are looking at, at if I'm not mistaken, probably looking at the right part. Or, but this is the left part. You got your B button, a B switch. Okay, B switch and E switch. The B switch is three-way switch. This the 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 E is two-way switch. Okay. Usually I put my 
I put my this arm button at the arm and this arm at this two-way switch at the bottom. At the right bar there, they have a similar switches as well. Okay, and you got two momentary buttons here, categorized as A and D, and you got a roller categorized as S1 and S2. You could actually use them as well, but I don't usually use it on my FPV quad. Uh, I think I, on one quad, I use this as a, uh, if I want to change my settings, I just use the roller, but it's up to you, okay? And your micro SD card, uh, I do suggest that you update the micro SD card to a better one. Usually, this is a very cheap <laughs> micro SD card. You got your headset or earphone port here. And I'm not sure what the other one is. Probably a head tracker. But you got two 3.5 millimeter headphone. Nah, 3.5 ports. At the back part is this nano. Re uh, you could actually put a nano receiver here. Uh, some people do put a crossfire, probably another ELRS, a bigger one, a ranger, or whatever you do require. It is upgradable here at the back part. And you also got two momentary switches here, another uh, category is as H and G. Now, at, ah, oopsie. <laughs> 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 She's laughing at me. Okay, at the... Whoa. Okay. Hmm, she's returning the game gamepad. Okay, you, you can you can play for... Yeah, play, play, play. While I'm doing a video. Okay? You just play. Okay? Alright. Yeah, that is the beauty of having a nephew or a niece. <laughs> While you're doing a video. Okay, you... You, 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 you get to enjoy your... Uh, the things that you do. Okay, at the bottom part, you got another USB port. Uh, this is the charging port. Meanwhile, the top uh, USB is for connecting it to your computer and using it as a uh, simulator controller. Okay. You also got this extra, uh, I believe this is a balance port for your uh, lithium battery because it can actually be supported buy or it can work with something like this a 6000 milliampere battery from radio master so you pl you pl place it here or something smaller place it here then use this to connect to the controller and uh, ultimately improving your um your battery life because one problem of the radio master although this is really a good Controller, I have been using this on my analog uh, quads and I was able to, and even with the HD0 quad, and this can really, really fly re uh, the quad uh, really well. But the main concern that I have is the very small, is the very, yes, I know, I know. What uh, my concern is the really short battery life. The problem is, the port where you put your battery is really small. This is an 18350, 183, yeah, 18350 battery. It's really, really small. And the milliampere is 900 milliampere only. It's really small. Uh, so having two of this is around 1800 milliampere. It's really, really small. Uh, sometimes I do able to use this uh, around roughly two hours, uh, sometimes three hours. So, of course, it's you cut <laughs> you cut that time depending on your flights. But of course, around three hours of uh, use for this, and it gets really low. And sometimes I'm, I'm having difficulty charging this while I want to fly the quad. So that is one problem of. The Radio Master Zorro. But you could actually extend the battery life. There are some uh, grills here that you could actually place a bigger battery at the bottom part. But the problem is, 
the the size okay but the problem is the size is already affected if you put two batteries here and of, of course it's not as light as before so that is one uh, minor problem that you will face if you will be using the radio master zoro the battery life is really not that good unless you put something at the bottom and use a bigger battery for your quad okay so you have to think about that if ever you will be using the radio master zoro another thing is these are not full size gimbal and these are actually smaller compared with the TX16S or TX16. But it is similar to the T12, TX12, I'm not sure. This is similar to that one. It's, uh, but this has, a, has its own um, CNC <laughs> aluminum gimbals. I'm I just forgot the exact model. Let's probably put it here. That is way better than this current gimbal. Although these are already old effect gimbals already, so the the quality is already good. But if you, <laughs> she threw the gamepad. Let's see it already. It's a crack. I told you not to throw it. Play with it. Don't throw it. Okay. 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 She threw my gamepad. <laughs> That is a Nikon gamepad. Okay, um, where was I? Yeah, the 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 gimbals are, although it's it is smaller compared to a full size gimbal, it's actually quite useful if you are a thumber, thumber. <laughs> if you use your thumb, flying your quad, because the smaller size gimbal gives you more freedom to fly the quad. The problem is if you are a pincher like me or a hybrid like me. Wherein I use my pinch, pinch on the left part and use the right part as a normal gamepad style. It's too sensitive for my lights because of the very, very small gimbal. You have a bigger gimbal, so the way the gimbal moves, it has a bigger surface area than this one. Okay, so that is one problem. Actually, it's not a problem. It's it will depend on your what do you like more. For me, I like a full size gimbal than this one, but that doesn't mean this is a a worse product than a full size gimbal such as the C16. This is actually good and for a very very reasonable price. I think this is actually a better option for you if you're looking for a new radio controller if the gimbal size is not important for you but you want a gamepad style controller this is the best option for you right now or if you want a smaller one smaller than this you could go with the radio master pocket it's really really small but of course for those with a bigger hands but want a gamepad style this is the right one for you another thing that uh, you would like to consider this over the others is the compact antenna. This is one problem that I see most on most of the radio controllers. My this is distracting me again. Look at what she's doing now. Look at what she's doing now. Look at what she's doing now. See, won't you be distracted? <laughs> okay, so the, the 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 antenna of the Radio Master Zorro is actually compact compared to the other Radio Master devices, such as the T16 and yes, of course the T12. And now this is really compact. Now, if you're looking for the Radio Master Boxer, it's not really compact. You have to modify it. And on the next video, I'll be doing a modification on the Radio Master Boxer. But for now, I'll be discussing this first, <laughs> of course. Another thing is, if you look at the screen, some do, do say or some do suggest that they should have put this. They should have put this. 
they should have put this screen at the bottom part so that since there is a bigger surface area here, they could just have put they could have just put this screen here, make it making it a bit smaller, similar to the Jumper T Pro, and yeah, just putting a port uh, a more compact antenna here, and you have a smaller size. But of course, Radio Master is Radio Master, and they will do they will design it based on what they want. What about you? Do you like it as well? <laughs> Leave in the comment section below if you like the Radio Master Zor. For now, we will end the video here. So you, if you want, you do check this out. I'll probably put a link in the description so you can see for yourself. And yes. All right, I'm, I'm about to end the video. I'm about to end. All right. So we will end the video here. I will have to end it now because my niece is showing me something i'll be looking at it and hope to see you in the next video <laughs> i'm sorry if this is not as <laughs> this is not how i usually used to do my videos but of course with a very very cute cute niece like this i hope you do enjoy this video and as always see you in the next one happy flying bye bye